Hey, this here's Aaron here and Julia with the Canny Couple, and we're going to start going forward now, giving a weekly homestead update. And we just want to tell you what all's went on this week, because there's a lot of times we are uh, forgetting to do videos when we should be doing it, and uh, we want to tell you what all's happened, and you know what could be of interest to you. So, what all's happened this week? This week has been uh, harvesting all of our beets. And as you can see, there's all kind of uh, beef greens here. Um, we were going to save some of them, but uh, uh, due to time constraints and everything like that, uh, they got too wieldy for us. So we're going to do the next best thing for them and compost them. Right. We also did half our carrots. Yep. Yep. We uh, pulled up. Yeah. Hi. I guess hi. Half, 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 half the carrots. Um, really good crop. Best year we've ever had a crop of carrots before. Uh, Definitely uh, gonna have some to eat on. We can we put up. Um, we're de we're dehydrating those right now as well. Right. Uh, it might seem sad to some people, but for us who we've had what maybe ten carrots total. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> most of them never want to grow any, but the, this year we had some really good growth on them. Uh, a lot of that has been to our soil uh, management this year as well. And timing. And timing. Yep, I really focused on timing this year. We also finished up the potatoes. Yes, finished uh, getting those up. Um, right now in the dehydrator, we have... The last batch. The last batch of them. We got eggplants. We got carrots. We have some gojis in this bunch as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got some gojis in there as well. So um, that's what we're getting ready to go do in a few minutes is uh, pick more gojis. And... Uh, uh, pick tomatoes and possibly if we've got any winter squash that we need to pick as well. I've also got a couple jars of tomatoes I've canned this week so that's always fun. Um, we canned a couple more tomatoes and um, it's just really been a food processing heavy week. And it really is in August always. August is the harvest, <laughs> harvest um, month and harvest preservation month. I mean that is when we are <laughs> busy pretty much every day harvesting some sort of food that we uh, either bought or got out of the gardens. I feel like I've used my table a lot this week and we had our first real mishap. <laughs> so as you can see we have cinder block down here at the bottom. Um, we had the beads and everything over here in the sink and I had the water running and I had the beets back there behind it. It didn't have anything over here. And uh, I had yeah, to go. We're gonna we're gonna put some sort of weights on here or something to make it more stable uh, for that in the future. Um, the I mean, ground got wet too, so yeah, I think the I mean, ground got wet. I mean, overall though, uh, it saved you a, a ton of time. Oh, the in dirt coming in the house. Yeah, the dirt coming into the house has been a godsend. So I'm really happy with how it's turned out. And then. But I think for the homestead, this is what we've really focused on, hasn't it? It has been. It's been that, um, you know, we, we do have a um, this week's podcast up that came out on Friday at 7 p.m. It's up there, too. You know, if you haven't uh, checked that out, make sure to go check out Rural Reliance with the Candy Couple. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it, it has been all harvest, though. I mean, there's, I, well, I did, I did cut some uh, this week around, uh, some of our bushes and stuff oh, we like did that, it. yeah. And um, so we we did a little bit of that, but not not as much as of anything else besides uh, food harvesting and preservation. Yep, I, I know that. Um, and um, personally, we've had a really good week. A uh, little girl, she's doing really good this week. She's... Yes, uh, lots of uh, big milestones uh, from eating by herself to uh, uh, starting to babble some as well taking her own bottle herself I mean a lot of uh, good uh, milestones for us here as well. well it's been a really good week and we've also were really happy with our beet harvest so we've had a really we had a really good week overall we did have some pitfalls our potato harvest was crap this year that's the nicest way to say it um, yeah. It, it of did course, not. The, of course, the year when potato shortages are going to probably happen. You know, of course, this year. Yep, always. Never fails. So, potato harvest was okay. 
it, it was very poor. But we'll make do. We'll we'll figure it out. Yep. But everything else has been really good, yep. and we're doing good, and the baby's doing wonderful. So we're super happy here on the on the homestead. Yes. Yeah, so I guess that's uh, it for this week. You know, um, we'll do this every week, sort of give you a quick update of what all's happened. Um, we've got a few new um, videos out there we put up this week as well, um, plus a few pictures here and there. You know, you can always find all of our links to everything on Linktree slash The Candy Couple. And thanks for joining us uh, for the weekly update. Have a great day. Bye.